Fifteen years after stealing design of American F-35A, Chinese Air Force's latest J-35A stealth fighter jet made its first public debut yesterday. China has unveiled its new fifth-generation unmanned aerial vehicle at the Zhuhai Air Show, that resembles the RQ-4 Global Hawk of US. Saab Group and Helsing have partnered to develop an artificial intelligence capability on board the Gripen the aircraft. The Israeli Ministry of Defense has signed a major agreement to acquire 25 advanced F-15 fighter jets valued at $5.2 billion. The Eurofighter Typhoon is confident to undercut the prices of the French Rafale in a renewed bid to secure the MRFA contract with India. Lakshmi Machine Works has delivered the first air intake assembly of Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet to Hindustan Aeronautics. Chief of Defense Staff visited the research facility of Pune-based startup Altair Infrasec, and reviewed the 500 kg Varun Mark 1 unmanned multi-role helicopter, and the IMAT anti-submarine warfare expendable training target. Lockheed Martin Skunk Works is working a new concept for a pilot-optional, stealth-enabled refueling aircraft. The Indian President witnessed the operational demonstration by the Indian Navy at sea. Hyderabad-based Zen Technologies has launched the world's lightest remote-controlled weapon station called the Barbaric. After experiencing delays in the delivery of F-404 engines from General Electric, the Indian government is considering a strategic move to mitigate future supply chain disruptions for the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet program. With the Indian Air Force planning to induct nearly 180 Tejas Mark 1A aircraft, India is expected to request General Electric to transfer part of its component manufacturing for the F-404 engines to Indian defense sector companies, that will help secure a reliable supply of components and services for the F-404 engines and establish a sustainable support network for the next four decades. The Prachand Light Combat Helicopter is set to receive a tactical video data link system, that will significantly enhance its network-centric warfare capabilities. The work has already begun on the development and testing of such a system, that will enable real-time data sharing across various platforms, improving coordination and battle management. The DRDO is in the process of developing a lighter variant of the ATAGS, to meet the Indian Army's requirements for a more mobile and lightweight artillery system. This reduction in weight will be achieved through a smaller chamber size and a lighter barrel, without compromising on performance. The Army plans to procure 1,200 units in the future, starting with an initial order of 400 guns. Following the DAC approval on 30th of November 2023, the draft proposal for the 84 Super Shukhoi upgrade is now pending clearance by the Prime Minister Modi headed Cabinet Committee on Security. Once the CCS grants approval, a formal contract will initiate the project, with the first upgraded aircraft expected to be rolled out in 2028, and the complete development and flight testing process is projected to span seven years. The upgrade cycle for all 84 aircraft is expected to take 15 years to be completed. Today's top 3 comments.